Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your love forecast for the first half of August. From the 1st all the way through the 15th, general advice as always, guys, so please keep that in mind throughout the duration of your reading and take from it what makes sense for you personally. Release what doesn't. I'll be pulling from these two decks here, the Golden Dahlia deck by Maria of La Bella number 13, and I'll grab some cards from On the Horizon Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot, and I will, of course, clarify with my own tarot decks here. So, Scorpio, let's get into it. What does the energy for the first half of August look like for the collective here? All right, so we are starting off with karmic ties. And maybe, well, look at the next card. We've got waiting, and then we have frustrated. So if you have, for example, been waiting for the right opportunity to address this issue with a karmic partner that could be a part of your frustration or you guys are already in separation we do have this next card right here this is so interesting we have longing and look at what it's followed by we have walking away so either you've already addressed those karmic ties and maybe you've already severed a partnership with somebody and part of the frustration maybe through this longing and waiting is that they're hoping for some form of communication that may or may never come since somebody here clearly detached and walked away, as we can see that right there. So let's go ahead and grab some clarifying messages here with Tarot. I'll be pulling from my Valentine Connection Tarot deck here. So part of their frustration is perhaps realizing that they created a very challenging situation between the two of you and if they are coming through as a karmic partner you already know that this has been a very challenging time for this connection let's see what do we need to know here for scorpio so this is interesting because if you have walked away from this person they still think about you clearly we see that they're longing for you they're waiting for something to happen here or just waiting for the right opportunity to reach out maybe they're feeling very nostalgic. They're feeling stuck in the past over the memories that you guys have shared. Some of those memories, of course, could have been wonderful. We do have the Two of Cups right here. That's followed by the Ace of Cups. This is really interesting. We've got the Four of Cups, and that's followed by the Queen of Cups. Look at this. And then we have the Death card, which represents Scorpio energy. So something came to an end here, Scorpio, if this is your story. And it could have been this individual who now realizes that they really messed up because we do have the Four of Cups where they've got a lot of regrets. That's a part of the frustration that they are feeling because it can now be a missed opportunity for them to do anything about this. If you have walked away from them, it's right next to this death card, the transition, the changes perhaps that you are making in your own life. And then we've got the Ace of Swords right here. So that's simply clarifying for me. You probably severed ties. You probably let them go. You probably cut them out of your life and walked away because they did certain things to ultimately ruin the foundation of the relationship. And so now that they might have figured certain things out about themselves, about what it is that they're wanting to bring to the table, they still see you either as a soulmate or even a twin flame but possibly because of this four of cups they're realizing oh my god is it too late you know is it possible for me to be able to fix this so here we are with the ace of pentacles a fresh start is what they're wanting okay the ace of swords it's that clarity perhaps that you needed in order to do what you needed to do and for my scorpios i'm just ultimately feeling you ended things with this person maybe there were trust issues there and then we do have the Queen of Cups representing the Divine Feminine here, intuitive and caring. So one thing about your intuition, Divine Feminine, is you had to perhaps rely on that gut instinct to take action if you were the one that walked away. You know, it might not have been an easy decision, but at the end of the day, you had to do what needed to be done in order to put yourself first. You know, and then we do have the five of pentacles, which is so interesting because that could be significant to this connection as far as the struggles that this other person has been going through. If you did walk away, as we have seen, they're longing for you. That's a part of the 
longing, frustration that they have because ultimately they're wanting a new beginning to reconnect with you. Five of Pentacles, you probably left them out in the cold here. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some additional advice here for you, Scorpio, and see what else we can pick up for the first half of August. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. What else do we need to know? And just because something came to an end, that does not mean you cannot find love again. And that doesn't mean that you and this person can't work it out. But they're going to have to come towards you with the best of intentions and as a better person. We have family nest. Now, some of you guys that might have experienced separations in your partnerships, it involved the family as well. Maybe... Some of you guys either already had a child together or children or even blended families. Family nest, it could also be that you spent more time with your family to be able to make more time for that part of your life. Okay. And then we also have peaceful. We have incoming. So there is some form of exciting news that seems to be coming your way. So anyway, let's go ahead and grab some tarot here. To clarify these messages and maybe at this point in time Scorpio you're just ultimately feeling that you're in a much better place right now more peaceful state of mind as a result of maybe detaching from a difficult situation walking away from somebody look at this you've got the ace of cups so there's new love on the horizon for some of you especially if you're not interested in a reconciliation for example with this person okay and that could be a part of the, the frustration as well. They're longing for you. We see that here. But there could still be this distance and time apart, possibly because you did sever ties, as I've mentioned. And even though, you know, they're, they might have worked on themselves and they're, might, they might be coming towards you as a better version of themselves. But for some of you, I really do feel there is a part of your heart space that just feels like you're done. And maybe... During this time apart, you've been working on yourself. The Ace of Cups is about being able to fill that own cup of love for yourself, too. Look at this. They're feeling some sense of grief and loss as a result of you guys not being together. You could have also gone through that type of energy, but I feel you've worked very diligently to overcome that, and here you are in a much better place. Look at this. We've got the Ten of Cups. So this seems to be a part of your journey here. And I'm just ultimately feeling for those of you that relate to this, maybe right now you're just on your own, but content on your own. There's a difference between being single and miserable and lonely. I'm feeling for some of my Scorpios that through this new beginning of working on yourself and empowering yourself and not really interacting with somebody who hurt you and that you walked away from them, because this right here is you being successful, being self-sufficient. This is you claiming your freedom from somebody that might have really disappointed you in love and romance. And so this is right here a part of your journey to be able to find this kind of love that the Ten of Cups is wanting to offer you. You've already been through some trying times here, so the moon can sometimes represent things that are hidden from you. It can be deceptive. And it can be things that are hidden secrets, things of that nature. And, you know, if you relate to, for example, affairs that might have happened or infidelity, because clearly there's a missed opportunity, the struggles during the breakup, there's a reason why this situation came to an end. And so here you are coming through as a more empowered version of you, ready to take things in a whole different direction with that chariot. Okay. Now, some of you could have a lot of water in your chart we see so many cups here pisces right there with the moon and then we've got cancer represented by the chariot so it does seem here that things are going to start improving and looking better for you moving forward in your love life and if there is a part of your heart space that would want to take someone back okay so this could be an ex somebody that you had a falling out with there are possible reunions that can happen but there has to be this empowerment within yourself which i feel you you've worked on that continue to work on that because as long as you put yourself first you're not going to be allowing anybody else to come in with anything less than what you deserve 
okay and there could be some communication that's on its way to you this could either be from a new love but of course it could be from somebody that you had a falling out with and are in separation from it does seem here that you are being offered a new beginning in love and just a new beginning overall in life and ultimately culminating in a very positive outcome here for you so that looks really good all right so let's go ahead and grab some additional advice here i'll be pulling from the charm cards deck this is by mystic moon angels and spirit guides please for scorpio all right first half of august what else do we need to know we have butter smooth over look at this you've got heart love and romance we have ice cream taste and then we have bell news so i'm not surprised to see that because there really is some communication that's coming in for you this is from a romantic interest okay so it, this is it well i guess it could be a friend or even a relative but i'm feeling it more so for those of you who are tapped into your heart space we do have the love and romance card right there okay so this could be someone from your past who really wants to fix things they want to talk to you Somebody could really love ice cream here. There's something about the way you taste, perhaps, something that they focus on. Could be very intense sexual attraction towards you. And there's, there's clearly something that they're gravitating towards when it comes to you. So let's go ahead and see what else we can pick up from these cards. I'll be pulling from my Tabby Tarot teacher deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. So if... If you don't accept someone back then there's the opportunity for new beginnings in love and romance but we do have the king of cups and the page of cups representing the divine masculine energy both water so some of you guys could be cross watching for a scorpio possibly divine masculine so here we are we have a divine masculine coming in with a message we have the bell card here with the news that's on its way to you so i feel this could be a romantic interest possibly from the past who recognizes the love that they still have in their heart space for you and this is somebody who's ready to truly come in possibly even sweep you off your feet you might even be surprised as to the changes that they've made within themselves this could be an unexpected communication but it does represent good news that is on its way to you. Okay, let's see what else here. Here we are with the Five of Cups. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is coming through again. So there's a reason why that's presenting itself here. You know, it's, it's almost like the Angel Guides are really wanting to drive that energy home to let you know that this person... They're feeling very sad, remorseful over the fact that you guys are not together. And Divine Feminine, you know, we see the King, King of Cups. Here's the Queen of Cups. It's coming through twice. So you guys are actually a perfect, absolutely perfect match, Divine Counterparts here. And, you know, maybe they needed to experience this loss and the sadness and the grief that they're going through right now in order to come towards you as a better version of themselves. And I can tell you here, this person, probably the masculine, they think about you a lot. They, they think a lot about you during the nighttime, I feel. The Nine of Swords represents insomnia, nightmares, possible night terrors. They're not happy. Some of them, you know, they've been going through anxiety or even depression. They haven't been able to function. And look at this. There we go. Ace of Cups. They still feel the deep connection with you, Divine Feminine. And they want a new beginning. So this is an indication here that when it comes to this love connection, things can still improve. Things can still get better here. There's a new beginning on the horizon. All right. So let's wrap it up with some final messages here. I'll be pulling from the Stay Inspired Oracle Cards by Sister Moon Tarot. 
angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. All right, so we are starting off with freedom. Yes, that makes sense for me. You are as free as you choose to be. Freedom is a mindset. Okay, so really that makes such sense considering what we have already seen, you know, just breaking free from the karmic ties and walking away. Okay, we've seen that early on in your reading, Scorpio. So you needed to free yourself from people that were either not showing up for you or they were doing things to compromise the relationship or it just really was not checking all the boxes for you. Let's see what else. Now, if you haven't walked away, this could be the angel guides, the universe's way of telling you it's time. We have new. Yes, try something different. Cultivate the wild in you. Absolutely. Especially if you're the type of person that can be very routine oriented or, you know, you tend to follow a very, what am I trying to say? Like, maybe a type of person where you're just staying within the lines, you know, if that makes sense. And so this right here, it's really pushing you to be able to try a different course of action, try making a different decision that you normally wouldn't, that might actually free you from the restraints of the past, you know, if that makes sense. And then we do have believe. Miracles defy our concept of reality, but they happen every day believe. And then bottom of the deck, look at this, we have forever. You have a forever bond, even if you haven't met them yet. So this could be for those of you preparing for a new love coming in. And it does say you are not alone. Your soul is tied to your soulmate, even before you meet them or know of them. Trust this bond with all your heart. They are yours forever. Now, this can, of course, be this person from the past who still feels that you are their forever love, but it really depends on you know, whether or not you're able to accept this person back in, if you're even interested in that. So let's clarify these messages. I'll be pulling from my tarot teacher, the revised edition here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. All right, here we go. So yeah, new beginnings. Page of Wands again. So there is good news. Look at this. Here we are again with the death card so truly there are cycles that are clearly ending here for you scorpio and it's making way for some changes for you to bring in these new cycles okay and if you need time to yourself in the meantime then focus on that take as much time as you need to be able to think things through look at this this is simply clarifying that you did walk away from somebody there could have been competition, love rivals, and conflicts there. And so here you are. You've got choices that you can make to ensure that your future looks really good. And in order to make progress in your love life, especially, you know, and if you're feeling a little bit antsy about where life is going to take you, just have a little bit of patience there. Ultimately, the direction that you are going, it looks really good. Okay, as far as being able to find love, that's for sure. Look at this. And here we are with the Four of Wands. So yes, there's a possibility towards reunions for some of you who are open to that. But this can also represent happiness ahead of you, where you are going. And for some of you guys, a new love could even connect you with a twin flame connection. And it comes down to two people who work together in the partnership. This can culminate by way of long-term commitment marriage for some of you guys it's a very happy energy a very happy occasion and it's also our 11 11 card in tarot so if you happen to be seeing that number make a wish it might just happen it might just come true you've got those miracles on its way to you all right scorpio so i'll leave it there if you are interested in your own personal private reading that information is down below in the description box as well as the action buttons at the end of this video thank you guys so much i'll see you next time mm -hmm.